Well, hello everybody out there in YouTube land here. This here is Rob, aka Toronto Collector, coming to you as always from the beautiful city of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And a happy Monday morning to each and every one of you out there. I hope you all had a great weekend here. This this video here is going to be a part 1A of my TC in 10 video, in which I show you pops in 10 minutes or less, brand new from that I picked up recently there. And this video here is going to be very similar to the video I did on Saturday, TC N10 Volume 1. It's going to be similar to that one, except this one here is going to have no intro whatsoever here. I'm just going to talk for for a few seconds here on camera, and then get right into the unveiling here. So it's going to be no intro. And you, so you please comment down below as to which version you would love to see in the future there. The no intro, as in this video here, it's got no intro whatsoever, or the one I did Saturday with an intro. And uh, a few people have already commented that they like the intro there, so if you like the intro there, even on this video here, comment, yes, please do the intro, Rob, please do the intro, we like the intro. If you like the intro, let me know, I'll do whichever version our wonderful subscribers and viewers want to see, intro like I did Saturday, or no intro today. So, and uh, by the way, this does not replace our normal Monday mail video, which we will be, I'll be filming, I or we will be filming later on today. Marie and I are going to be going and getting vaccinated there today. I'm going to be going for my second. She's going to go for her first. So, hopefully we'll be able to uh, feel well enough afterwards there to I, to maybe film Monday mail video later on there today. I'm filming this rather early. This is, it, is, it is only... It is only now 8 o'clock in the morning, our time, so I'm filming this one early here, even before we go get our vaccinations right there. So, without further ado, you remember, everybody, please let us know down in the comments, or let me know down in the comments, which version you prefer, intro, like I did Saturday, or no intro, like I'm doing today. So, without further ado here, I'll show you the same eight pops I showed you Saturday, only in reverse order. So, here we go. So, I have my handy-dandy, uh... Stopwatch here as I turn it from my clock to the stopwatch set a timer right there for 10 minutes And I'll be showing you these pops here in 10 minutes or less. Here we go So stop my stop my watch Counting down There we go counting down. So first one I'm gonna show you here is brand new here in Canada here it coming in number 886. It is Blade From the movie Blade played by Wesley Snipes right here and I do believe right there that is the con sticker right there I believe if that thought is the con sticker itself, please let me know in the comments, but I believe that is the con sticker right there. This is brand new here in Canada, only been in Canada for a week now. I showed this one on Saturday, this is the last one I showed on Saturday. Ironically, last one I showed on Saturday, first one I showed this morning. So there it's Blade. Um, I think I have gotten the right order here. I knew I had did it with that one last. Anyways, to continue on here, number 971 here, it is Frank from the Jungle Cruise. And the reason why I picked this pop up here, this movie's not even out yet, but the reason why I picked this one up here, if anybody knows anything about this movie, you know that Frank was played, is played, by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And I like him as an actor, he, I thought he, 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 he does good movies, so I wanted to pick this one up here, it's also brand new here in, in, in Toronto, I wanted to pick this one up here even before seeing the movie. Next one here is, I am a Star Trek fan, I, I'm more of a fan of the next generation than of the original series, but they haven't made any next gen uh, pops I've seen yet. If I'm wrong, please do correct me in the comments. So coming here, number 1138, big number, 1138, it is Captain Kirk in his, I believe, ceremonial dress robe right there. I have, I have two other, I have another version of him sitting in the chair, but this is what I showed on Saturday, so, so I'm showing this one here today. I, I already have um, Spock, the Spock the Spock one which is right down here, I have that one there already in my collection. This is a hot pop right there. So, that's a really hot pop right there, and I really do like some of the original series here. Next one here, coming in number 77, to continue on with my G.I. Joe line, it is Storm Shadow, G.I. Joe. I love, I'm a fan of the original 9-inch G.I. Joe's there. I had some of them there, but I'm not sure if we still have them or not. If they do, they'll be quite valuable nowadays. If you have any of the original, and I do mean original G.I. Joe's, 6-inch or 9-inch there, especially with the fixed hands. If you have any of the fixed hands, hang on to them, because they're worth money. If you have the ones with the Kung Fu grip, they're still worth money there too. Especially if you have the ones in the original cardboard box. Yes, that's how far back I go. So anyways, there's Storm Shadow right there, tied to my G.I. Joe, Joe, Joe line. I want I don't watch G.I. Joe on TV anymore, but, but I love the line there. So next one here I got Infirmaria, 
to enjoy, I had to pull out her collection this morning here. Coming in here at number 628, it is Diamond Edition Jolton. Awesome look at pop right there. Again, I believe it does have the con sticker on it right there. If I, again, if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments. But I, I do believe that is the con sticker right there. This one here was not too cheap here, but I'm sure it's going to be going up in value, just like Squirtle has. If you have the Diamond Edition Squirtle in your collection, it's got up in value there too. And we also have Vulpix up here, the Diamond Edition Vulpix, which has got up in value there too. So that's an awesome look pop to have as an investment right there. Next one I have here is another one from G.I. Joe. It is, make sure my, my, my comments are going up here. Next one from G.I. Joe is number, coming number 11. It is Dr. Mindbender, which I have no idea who this person is, but, but, but I bet you this person is a bad guy. Just looks like a bad guy right there. Maybe G.I. Joe's nemesis, I don't know. I, I don't really watch the anime, I don't, I don't watch G.I. Joe nowadays. I just like the idea. So there's Dr. Mindbender right there. I have other Judge over there. If Judge Joe is a uh, anime series or anybody knows anything about the Judge Joe's the series uh, or the movies, whatever it is, please comment down below and let me know. Second to last one here is if you watch any of my older videos there, you know that uh, recently I went oh I got, grabbed a couple wrestling pops there and I had a bag on the floor of the, of the city bus. Just one of them got stepped on, the bag got stepped on, one of them got trashed, so I had to go get a replacement there. It was not the store's fault, it was my fault there for having the bag on the floor of the bus. So I, went, I just called the store up, do you have another one? They said yes, I went in and picked it up there, so. And this is nowadays, this is a, give you a, a, come a very rare pop, any pop, but this sticker on it there is going to become very rare. So coming in at number 90, it is the EB Games exclusive, Eddie Guerrero. And the reason why I say uh, limited edition here is because EB Games right now is going to be no more very soon. They were bought out by their parent company. And so pretty soon you will see no more EB Games stickers. So for any collectors out there who have EB Games stickers, hang on to them. Because they're going to be worth money someday. Because EB Games Canada is, is was bought out by their parent company GameStop. And they're going to be, the, the, the uh, branding is changing hands. And it could be changing hands very soon there. So if you have an EB Games sticker, hang on to it. It's going to, become, it's going to be worth money someday. And the last one I'm going to show you here. And I want to say I do have his brother in my collection already. There, I found out yesterday when I put him away. The last one here is coming in number 1078. It is Dom Toretto from Fast 9. The very first time they made, I believe it is, the very first time they made a Dominic, uh, a pop from a Fast movie here. After nine movies... If I may pops, I do believe that's the way it is. There's his brother right there. There's Dom and his brother Jacob, who I do believe from seeing in the commercials, I do believe that Jacob was played by John Cena for all your wrestling fans. So there is a pop right there, a Dom Shredder right there. And there you are folks, that is eight, that is three, six, eight pop I've showed you here in less than 10 minutes time please do comment there down below if you like the shorter version of our video of the unveiling here with no intro if you like the no intro idea here and you want me just to get right into the unveiling here please do comment down below if you prefer the intro if you want to see the other version here which I did on Saturday is on my, on my channel right now it's called TC um, in ten, TC in 10 Volume 1 This would be going to be called TC in 10 Volume 1 No Intro But if you want to see the other one I did Saturday TC in 10 Volume 1 It's on my channel right now Please check out both versions of it there Let me know in the comments on both videos This one and that one Which one you prefer Whether you prefer intro or no intro So I, I thank you very much for watching Take a few minutes out of your day to watch this video here Stay tuned please Later on today when we have a Monday mail video with a couple really hot items and perhaps maybe even a couple more unveilings or a couple more hot pops you never know so we're always family friendly here at toronto collector there we are currently on the road to 300 subscribers so please if you want to help us reach 300 subscribers share our videos with family and friends to help us achieve 300, subscri 300 subscribers so we can have finally have our big giveaway so i hope you have a great day everybody out there Please stay safe, stay hydrated, it's pretty hot out there right now. Stay safe there, and we'll see you later for the Monday Mail video. Take care.